it's Wednesday, 29th April 2020. Year 2 maths, fractions, find a half. Right, pause the video and make sure you have your workbook and a pencil. Please download the sheet from class charts, fractions, find a half. Write the short date at the top of the page, 29.4.20. And then write the LI, find a half. Once you have finished your work, please send a photo at year2 at grange.harrow.sch.uk. I'm going to refer back to the knowledge organiser and look at this section here as we are looking to find a half. And we were looking at this yesterday because we were trying to recognise a half. What is a half? A whole split into two equal parts. Today we're going to be finding a half. So we're going to be finding a half by drawing a shape or have pictures. So in this case, we've got eight footballs, which is split into half. And then using these pictures, write, in, write down, saying half of eight equals four. So these two tie in together. Before we do that, let's go through the key vocabulary. Repeat after me, whole. Pot, equal, half, and share. Right. What we're going to do is, first, I would like you to pause the video and draw these three shapes. The circle, heart, and square. Once you have drawn these shapes, I would like you to split the shape shapes into two equal pieces. Now remember from yesterday how you had split the shapes into two equal pieces. We drew our line either horizontally, vertically or diagonally. Once you have drawn the line and split the shape into two equal pieces, what I would like you to do is shade in one half of the shape. Then you'll be able to see each of these pieces is half of the shape. Let's see what Michelle has done. Right. I have split the circle into half and shaded in one half of this circle. Likewise with the heart and with the square. Right. Pause the video and draw a triangle and a pentagon. Can you find half of these shapes? Off you go. Right, let's see what Ms. Shah has done. Yep, I have uh, drawn a vertical line to split the triangle into half, and then I've shaded one part of it. And the same with the pentagon. I've drawn a vertical line and then shaded in half. Right. Draw three rectangles and sometimes you can find half in more than one way. See how many ways you can find half of A figure. All right, let's see what Michelle has done. That's right, I've drawn a diagonal line across and I've shaded it in half. Drawn a horizontal line across. Shade in half, and I've drawn a vertical line and shaded in half. Right. We are going to look at the video which is part of the white rose scheme that the school follow. So pause the video and make sure you have downloaded the worksheets from class charts, as the video is going to ask you to complete some questions. Right, let's go to the video. Rosie says that 
if she had nine whole grapes, she would not be able to share them equally into two groups. What do you think? Remember, they don't have to be whole grapes. They can be whole anythings. So if you're doing this at home or at school, then you can get yourself nine somethings and try to share them equally into two groups. Let's see what Rosie does. Ah, yes. She's sliding one grape at a time into group one and into group two. She ended up with four grapes in group one and four grapes in group two. She's got that one whole grape left though, and she knows she needs even groups. She can't put it into group one, because then group one would have more. And she can't put it into group two, because group two would have more. And she can't cut it in half, because we're talking about whole grapes. Pause here and have a go at questions one, two and three. So have a quick question, go have a go at the questions one, two and three. Here Jack is using an array to help him find half of twelve. Arrays are brilliant, aren't they? He very cleverly draws a line horizontally down the middle of his array. We can now clearly see the top half of his array has six counters and the bottom half of his array has six counters, two equal groups of six. He then rubs that line out and draws another line vertically down the middle of his array. Now again, we can clearly see that the left hand side has six counters and the right hand side has six counters, two equal groups, both showing a half of 12. So we can clearly see that six is a half of 12. Does this work with all arrays? Why don't you get yourself something and have a go? It doesn't have to be counters. Could be tins of beans or anything you like. Pause here and have a go at questions four and five. Have a go at questions four and five on the second page. There we go, find half of each number. Use arrays to help you. And question five is Ron has run 20 meters. And you need to find uh, you need to work out the answers for A and B. Here are half of Ron's sweets. One, two, three, four. How many does he have in total? To work this out, we can put Ron's sweets into a bar model. We know half of his sweets are four, and we want to know how many there are altogether. Our brace shows that we want to know how many there are altogether, and our question mark is where our answer is going to go. Four make up half of front sweets, so we can put in another four to show the other half of front sweets, and clearly see that four plus four is equal to eight. Ron has eight sweets all together. Pause here and have a go at the rest of the questions. Right. Have a go at questions six, seven and eight. Pause the video and look at this mastery question. 
Now, there's a guidance here, so have a look at these questions here. And adults who are helping um, children at home, there's a guidance over here of what question prompts that you can ask in order for them to um, answer these questions on there. Once you have finished your work, the answers are there. And once you've completed everything, can you please send a photo of the work that you have done at year two at grange.harrow.seh.uk. Thank you.